Hello and welcome to podcast two in my Take a Walk for Me project, which was commissioned by Sligo County Council through the Sligo Healthy Ireland Fund 2019 to 2021. Along with two podcasts, I was tasked to design a postcard, which I'm really excited to share with you. And these will be distributed throughout the Balthina Festival. You can also contact Sligo Arts Service to receive your free cards. Having taken so many exquisite images throughout my walk, I made the decision to create a video collection to run alongside the podcast. Tubernault is said to predate the advent of Christianity in Ireland in the 5th century. Can you just imagine how many feet have walked this path? Frudging through fields, jumping walls to get to this secret place. For me, it's sometimes beyond comprehension that such rich history and unequivocal beauty exists at my fingertips. No matter the time of day or weather, this place is pure beauty. A short song I wrote called Road to Oneself. I've completed this walk countless times during my time so far on this earth, but none with eyes as wide as they have been over the past three months. There have been moments I worried that my brain would run out of space. Notebooks full of scribblings and doodles, words flooding my mind. To sit and form pieces of poetry, my most wonderful task to date. This one is titled Wandering. When even on a misty day, my eyes see only beauty, beauty beyond imagination. Thousands of shades of green in one frame, cradled gently by strong bark, holding stories centuries old. Intrepid growth in every nook, no cinder block hindering the sprawl of nature or wire fence can hold back the sheer wildness that grows in perfect rows. The intricate weaving of roots ensuring lifelong inhabitants on earth keeping human hands from inflicting destruction.
I spend most of my time every day writing in my head, writing lyrics, writing words, maybe sometimes just a single sentence. And I found while I travelled the walk to the Holy Well that my head was just full, absolutely full of wonderful sentences. And so gathering them together to make a piece of poetry was like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. But this is one that I wrote um, earlier on in the year and almost at the start of my walk when I just started. And it's called Call of the Well. A road most travelled for secret escape from inception to present day. She calls to me on the whisper of the wind, and I am drawn to this place. Footstep by footstep, I make my way, the spring foliage wet beneath my feet. 2.5 miles from the roar of engines and the crackling of chimneys burning heat for survival. Freedom. Peace. Calm. A place of magic and imagination of times gone before us. The ghosts of stories old accompany me as the sun wraps its shade around me. A road where visions are lustrous and minds are free. That particular piece I really think sums up the actual walk for me. It is a road where visions are lustrous and minds are definitely free.
And so for the last piece of poetry that I have written on my ramblings, I would like to give you this. It is a piece called In the Mist. Centuries have gone before us and we see stories of growth and people in the trees, each one holding a piece from days gone by. Listening, I feel my heart, it swells with pride. Beauty so uncomplicated and untouched, a gem that we possess right here all beneath foot. Mystical and perfect, its curves, they stretch to bring us to our holy well, a place of birth. High up on that hill, the walk that I have travelled is still with me. Never will I be the same from when I came to this place of majesty. I walk for each day. I walk for each day.
do hope you've enjoyed the presentation, whether you have just been listening to it on podcast or whether you've watched the full video. I hope you enjoyed the selection of photographs and music that I have chosen for you. Um, Also, just a quick word of thanks to both Mary McDonough and Catherine Fanning of Sligo Art Service for all of the help and support you have given me and indeed the other three artists over the last four months. We couldn't have done it without you. This was my project, which was the walk for Take a Walk for Me to the Holywell Road, Sligo. This project is funded by Sligo County Council through the Healthy Ireland Fund, supported by the Department of Health and the Department of Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth.